Hi, I'm Konstantin Dolgan, a certified new product development professional. One of the biggest mistakes people make when developing a new product is jumping straight from ideation to engineering and prototyping without doing any concept design work. That can be a costly mistake both in terms of time and money. There are several ways to go about concept design though. In this video I'll discuss the technical concept design and how it can be beneficial to you and your project, especially if your product is complicated. The purpose of the technical concept design is to combine the intended form and function with the relevant constraints such as the physics, the material properties, the manufacturing processes, the cost and the availability of the components, as well as the other real-world factors. As opposed to the conventional concept design, it's not only about creating a cool-looking product, but it's also about coming up with a solution that will be technically sound, economically viable and feasible to manufacture. For that, it's typically carried out by teams of designers, engineers, marketing experts and manufacturing specialists. There are many benefits to doing the technical concept design before jumping into engineering and prototyping. For one, it can help you catch the potential problems early on, so you would avoid the costly mistakes in the following phases. It keeps you realistic in terms of your material and component choices, as well as how everything is put together. So no floating or crossing elements, missing fixtures or fasteners in your CAD models. By using real materials and parts in your design and considering the manufacturing methods from the get-go, you will be able to estimate the production and assembly cost early in the process. This will help you in communicating your concept to the potential investors, partners and customers. Not only you'll be able to show them how the product is going to look, but you will also be able to talk dollars to them. You will know the cost of the materials and the components, as well as how your product will be made. So, if you are developing a new product, I highly recommend working on the technical concept design before moving on to engineering and prototyping. It can save you a lot of time and money in the long run.